today I decided to turn down the TV and turn up the radio. A little more interesting watching the Saints with the new crew. Unbelievable, these guys are going crazy on the radio. Yeah, David Onyemata was the initial hit and the split on that play. And then the caravan is able to get there, Alexander Loney. There you go, Deuce McAllister. Here we go. Saints got him down there. Oh, well. www.rouses.com Hope you get the baby. Who that? They run a negative yardage play. And get back to the line of scrimmage. You don't win games playing for the field goal. Touchdown is what you need. You can't challenge it. I mean, he, he doesn't even look for the ball. Nikel Roby Coleman. That's the second time Nikel Roby Coleman has gotten away with a play like that. He is four yards before the ball is there. But the Saints have to hurry up and line up to kick this field goal. Play clock is down to 12, 10 seconds. Obviously, head coach Sean Payton is furious after that no call on that last play. Just yelling at the referees, no, no. He's still giving them an earful right now on the sideline. And I, it just the whole entire fan base right now is breaking down and letting the refs have it just as Sean Payton is. I don't know how you don't call that penalty there. I mean, it, it, he never even turns his head to locate the ball. And that's the second time he's early on the throw. He just goes in levels. Tommy Lee lined up in the backfield anyway. He just goes in levels. He goes and levels Tommy Lee, and they, they don't throw a flag at all. Caroline, take Second down and 12. Breeze is in the gun. Three receivers right. Mike Thomas in motion towards the center of the field. Breeze takes the snap. Steps to his right. He's going to throw a long one. Has a man. Jump ball. Caught. Get the junior. That was the star player of the game, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, the official field for the New Orleans Saints. I don't know what to say, Deuce. It's one of the most heartbreaking losses I've ever been in attendance for. The Saints never trailed in this game until the game ended. I mean, you can just look at this crowd, and they're stunned, and you can tell that defense is the pressure by Fowler. And, able to get to some tip. It seemed like you emptied the bucket. It seemed like you did enough. It's not quite. Ball doesn't bounce your way. And let's be, listen, let's be honest about this. They're not going to score a touchdown on the pass attempt on third down. We don't know what happens after that play, but it's impossible not to call it. And it's literally right in front of the official. Well, but you, you, you only have one timeout. They only had one timeout left. And so you can run the clock all the way down and be able to kick a, a field goal to win the game in regulation. And so that, that that's the problem. Even though it gives you a new set of downs, they only have one timeout left. And so that's, that's the problem. It gives you a new set of downs. They have one timeout. You can kick a field goal with them only having, what, 10 seconds, if that certainly is an amazing an amazing change in the game and you hate to see it all of that effort all of that work that that this team put in this season to get in this position to have something like that happen at the end is just absolutely heart-wrenching just comes down to an official making a call and that's something you know it's an all-star crew 
that's something that you feel like that, hey, look, this, this is an easy call for you. This is something that you should be able to call in your sleep. And he didn't do so. That's going to do it for us. The final score, the Los Angeles Rams 26, the New Orleans Saints 23. We'll be back in 60 seconds on the New Orleans Saints Radio Network.